What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. This is Auto Detour and got a little bit of everything for you guys today. We got some updates on Gramps. Uh, we got some updates on Uncle Rusty the Colorado and some big updates for the Armadillo, our 2018 Nissan Armada over there uh, all the way in the back. A lot of stuff going on in the background for the channel right now. We have parts coming in the door just about every day for um, each one of these. Today's video, I just want to kind of get everybody caught up on where we're at and uh, what's coming up next. Got a couple of updates on Gramps here. We'll go over that in just a minute. Um, probably the biggest updates are going to be for the Armada over there. We have, you can see it right there we got a couple of boxes that have our cal mini three inch lift for the armada which i'm really excited to open up and get installed later on in this video we're going to be unboxing the lift kit and see what's inside check out all the parts and i'm really going to try to crank out a bunch of videos this week so tomorrow morning i'm going to be doing a full review on the armada and then following that we're going to be installing the lift kit and then stick around towards the end of this video i'll give all you guys a sneak peek on the new wheel and tire setup for the Armada over there. And if you've been following me on Instagram, I kind of put some I put some sneak peeks up on there as well. So if you're not already following me, be sure to go follow me on Instagram at Auto Detour as well. All right, so first we're gonna start off with some updates on Uncle Rusty here. Um, this is a my 2006 Chevy Colorado that we most recently picked up, the newest vehicle in the garage. Well, not newest, but the most recent acquisition uh, in the garage and had lots of parts show up for this thing so there's a lot of things that kind of need to be fixed up as you can already see the pap cap has come off the back and that has sold to somebody on facebook marketplace almost right away so we immediately put that money into buying more parts to just get this thing back up to snuff one of the biggest things i want to go over here is we already got a new bumper on the front here which if you remember there was a huge dent um, right here and the fog light was broken and the lower valence was ripped off um, the gentleman I bought it from hit a one of those big yellow posts in a parking lot I actually when I pulled the other bumper off I ended up having to straighten out the bumper mount on the frame and I'll throw a picture of that here actually ended up using my lift and I come along and some straps to straighten out the the bumper mounts now the new bumper looks so much better uh it's got that mounted up so we're making good progress so still got to get these side steps off might sell those not really sure um the, one of the biggest projects is going to be doing something about these rusty rocker panels that's a good segue into going over all the parts that have shown up for uncle rusty here not the wheelbarrow so unfortunately with taking the bed cap off um it left the bed rails in kind of bad shape just from that bed cap being on there since, I believe it's been on there since it was new. And it just really kind of rubbed the paint off the top of these bed rails, uh, kind of chipped it off here. So I've already put some rust reformer on here to keep this from rusting, get some paint on it. And then after that, we're gonna cover up these bed rails with some Weston bed rail covers that I got in a box here. We'll be installing those in an upcoming video. This box here, we got our slip-on rocker panel covers. Um, so those do need to be cut and painted and either welded or you know body glued into place. But these are slip-on ones. So basically we'll clean all the rust up. We'll put some rust reformer or some pour 15 on it. Make sure it's all the uh, rust is encapsulated um, and these and these slip right over the top and then you you cut them and body work them into place so that'll be a kind of an interesting project that's really the only rust on the truck and to get that taken care of will make the truck look a thousand times better we've had parts just showing up left and right i wasn't kidding so we do have a bad coolant temperature sensor on the colorado here so we got a check engine light for that we got a evap canister for the fuel system that needs to go in we got a, a code for that that needs to be taken care of um we got some new tail lights here ready to go on look at those pretty things so that's going to take care of our 
that's going to take care of our ugly delaminating headlight or tail lights here. Um, and then, you know, this one's got a big, is delaminating and has a big scratch in it from this dent here. So that'll, that'll clean it up quite a bit. And again, I'll be putting all these on in an upcoming video. And lastly, we got a big part, big box down here from Detroit Axle. These are all new shocks uh, for the Colorado here. So Colorado's getting a lot of love. Uh, should be a good little truck for running around while we're getting Gramps fixed. So stay tuned. Let me know down below in the comments if you're interested in Colorado videos. We'll be doing those periodically as you know we're in between other projects because those will be some simple upgrades that'll make an already nice truck. Uh, just kind of bring it, bring the maintenance up to date and make it look a lot cleaner. Now, before we get to the big stuff on the Armada, let's talk about Gramps for a second. So Gramps has literally been sitting here since the track. I've done nothing with him yet. I'm really excited to tear into it. I'm really waiting to ha get kind of the garage cleaned up here and get a spot. So um, if for whatever reason you are just now coming to my channel and are not familiar with Gramps yet, I will pop the hood. So there you have it. So as you can see, Gramps is my sleeper F-150 76 millimeter turbo. Be sure to click the uh, video link up here. We just took him to the drag strip at the last event of this fall at Rock Falls and turned the boost up to 14. He did one complete pass at 14 PSI and that was it. <laughs> Anyone that's been following me for a while knows that we have another block sitting right here. It's already got uh, crower billet rods in it. It has molly race pistons and it is a liver noise race block. Should be able to turn up the boost quite a bit further, but this turbo I think is probably not gonna get us to the power numbers that we want. So basically gonna be doing a complete overhaul on the turbo setup the engine block it'll be fun to get back into gramps projects i mean we're gonna have to upgrade fuel system i think we'll run e85 we're gonna upgrade the turbo so plenty of videos to come on gramps still so the, <laughs> all of you gramps fans don't worry gramps isn't done he is just getting started so now let's move on to the armadillo over here this is our nissan armada platinum reserve you know, this is our kid hauler. This is my wife's vehicle and be sure to leave her some encouragement in the comments down below that she, the new lift kit and the wheels and tires are going to be awesome. Right, honey? We've owned the Armada for about a year now. Um, it's a great vehicle. This is our third Armada that we've owned. We owned every, I mean, this is a second gen. We've owned a gen one, 06, and then an 08 gen one. That's the, uh, after the facelift and then this is our 2018 which is a gen 2 and for a brief amount of time we owned a, a infinity qx56 which is the same body but we had some unfortunate things happen with timing chains on that one and had to get rid of it and upgrade to this like i mentioned i'm going to be filming a full review on the armada in the morning and getting that posted up because I want it, I want to be able to uh, show what the Armada is like stock before we start going crazy with modifications. So with that being said, I'm trying to think of a good spot to unbox the Armada parts, but um, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be rolling Gramps out of the garage so we can, we can use the uh, Atlas lift to uh, get the lift kit installed, which is that box in that box so anyway yeah let's get to unboxing the lift kit see what's in there i'm excited to see all the parts and pieces one of the reasons i chose the cal mini lift is it keeps the factory um, air suspension uh, and keeps it riding as just like factory as much as possible anyway let's tear into it all right so as i mentioned earlier this is a three inch kit three inch lift kit for the armada over here it is made by cal mini 
uh, made in the USA, came out of California. Took probably two or three weeks to get it shipped to me, which isn't bad considering the state of our country and especially since it came out of California. Let's dig into it here. I'm going to start off with a small box. Alright, looks like we got a couple of ball joints here. Some bushings. Looks like for the very blue uh, control arms here. Dust caps of some kind. I'm sure we'll figure out what those are for. And the other control arm. Alright, that's it for box number one. Let's dig into the big box here. Very well packaged. I'll give them that. bag of bolts here. Alright, these look like our strut spacers for the front. Two of those, of course. Lots of paper. More brackets here. Oh, that's a crazy looking bracket. I'll unwrap all this stuff in a minute. Another bracket like that one we just pulled out. Oh, that's a big one. Looks like maybe, uh, I don't even know. I would assume it's a drop bracket for the rear suspension. Cute little guy there. And another one identical to this one. And that's it. Let's get it all unwrapped and lay all the pieces out so we can see, see what all came in here. All right, now I got everything laid out here nice and neat so you can kind of see what get a better picture of what all comes in the kit. Uh, this piece is really impressive. It's got some pretty complex bending and angles going on here. Uh, these two are, you know, opposite. I don't know if they're, we'll find out when we put them on, but maybe like uh, shock brackets? Not really sure. We'll find out though. Definitely some front strut spacers there. I think these are the carrier drops for the rear end. Really impressed with the build quality on these things. Um, got the control arms here, the bushings for the control arms. Comes with uh, Moog ball joints. And these caps are the dust caps that go on top. That go on top here after you get the ball joints uh, in there. Uh, the ball joints came with a C-clip and the castle nut and the zerk fitting and the cotter pin for the castle nut came with those for each side and the bag of hardware here all in all not really all that much to it so i'm really excited to get it on the on the armada over here we'll be installing that here well i'm going to be installing it tomorrow filming it of course so be sure to subscribe if you if you haven't already uh, if you're looking forward to some armada content and as promised Look at all the paper that came out of those boxes. As promised, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of the wheel and tire setup over there and I'm gonna have to open the garage door so you guys can see it. Whew, it's a little windy. All right.
right, so here's the new wheel and tire setup going on my wife's car. Uh, we are missing a couple center caps. Got those on order. Those should be arriving shortly. We have 20 by 10 fuel, uh, not fuel. We got 20 by 10 XD grenades. The negative 24 offset. We got some 35 by 1150 R20. Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Really excited to get that set up on there. I got a couple of surprises in store for the wheels and tires before they go on the Armada. Uh, so, okay, so I did test fit the wheels onto the Armada with stock ride height. Um, looks pretty gnarly. I'll throw a picture of it up here. But as you can see, the Armada's come pretty far inset from the factory. Um, and those those wheels and tires even being 20 by 10s stick out a uh, good one and a half to two inches outside the fender flares so pretty aggressive look um, surprisingly it almost clears the 35s uh, when i test fitted them um, it actually clears it in the front it can turn full lock on the front but it did rub back here it rubbed on this little bump right here in the fender wells. Um, so I had to take them back off. I was going to drive it around with 35s with stock suspension for a little bit, but it just rubbed too badly. So anyway, good reason to get the lift on and get that done. I think it's going to look really cool now that the, uh, you know, the snow is going to start flying pretty soon. And I think it's going to be a killer looking rig. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think? Uh, of the Armada build. Are you excited about it? I think it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be uh, going for kind of an overland look um, So I'm definitely open to suggestions on other things we can do to kind of give it that overland look so We can't stop it. Just lift wheels and tires. We got to do We got to do some other things to clean up the build a little bit. So Anyway, you got a lot going on uh, Gramps obviously got a lot of work to go the Colorado's getting cleaned up Uncle Rusty uh, and the armadillo is just getting started kind of a long update today But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for what's coming up on the channel And I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. I'll talk to you next time